I've been watching a lot of haul videos and I decided oh, why not make my own because the Kmart near my work, oh my package is bad, is closing, which is lame, but I've been getting lots of stuff. And if you're like, wait, there's a couch behind you, not books and piles of stuff. I'm trying a new filming location with a new camera. The only bad part about the new camera is that it doesn't have a um, viewfinder that flips to the front, so I have no idea what you're seeing, and it does not refocus in like real time while it's recording. So that's kind of lame. But anyway, let's get into the haul. So, oh, I have a lot of it in this little bucket here. Yay! Isn't that good for them thumbnails? Anyway, most of it, not all of it. So we'll start with the things not in the bucket. Like this candle by Essential Home Creamy Vanilla Scented Candle. Ta-da! I don't know if you can read that. I hope you can. But it just smells like frosting. I'm all for frosting. I also got the Naturally Friendly Hello Mouthwash in Pink Grapefruit and Mint. And... I haven't tried it yet. I've only seen about one review about it on YouTube. We'll try that again. And they really liked it, so good stuff. And there's a cat. There is a cat. All right, so now we're moving on to the basket, which I hope I got everything. Because this is, yeah, this wasn't just one trip. Ooh, I did forget something. One moment. Okay, I'm back. So the thing I forgot to bring was for he reminded me. Thank you. Thank you, helper cat. Was the delectable stew lickable treats. And I got three flavors. I got tuna. Oh, this one's delectable bisque. Ooh, this one's fancy. The tuna one is a bisque. In that fancy. But the, for the stews, I got chicken and tuna and tuna and white fish. Oh, and I'm dropping them. And they look like that. Hopefully you can you can see that. Like I said, I don't know what's going on. But he loves these. So I, I bought like one of the chicken and tuna. And then he just loved it so much. Like he was like licking the bowl clean. And he normally doesn't do that. So I went back and got a whole bunch of the rest of them. So now moving on to the bucket. Um, I took one out of these... Seafoam Facial Sponges by Purely Me. It's a two-pack. Took one out. Look how relaxed she looks. I want to be relaxed like her. Look at that. So, I've been using it. I like it. Um, the next thing is one of the NYC Smooth Skin Press Powders. I got translucent. I normally use warm beige, and I don't have any problems with it. So, this is what it looks like. It does look like it has a color even though it's supposed to be translucent. I don't know, because I was watching another review on this and Holly Eats Lipstick said it was easy to get really powdery looking. So I'm not sure. I mean, I got it for like 40% off of the $2.99, so can't be too bad. And then the next thing I see in here is also by NYC, two things. I got the NYC Smooth Skin Fini Parfait BB Cream Instant Matte 5 in 1. And I like BB creams. I really do. I got it in light. So we'll see how that works. I, again, I looked up reviews like after I bought all this stuff. And someone didn't like the way this wore, but they had dry skin and I have oily skin, so maybe it'll work for me. I also got the NYC Smooth Skin. Do you, do you recognize like a smooth skin theme? I got the liquid makeup in 676 Ivory. I've not tried it out yet. I was guessing at my color. This is the lightest one that they had left. So I don't even know if it is my color or not. We'll find out. It does have really good, okay, it has interesting reviews online. It has really good reviews for the actual like product but it has not so good reviews for the container because it is a, yeah, it's a little tube thing and it's, yeah. Like it is, 
It's really thick. It's not going anywhere. Do 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 do. So you have to like practically dig it out. And like she tried the whole like suction like the on your hand thing and that didn't work for her. And, like I even did that and it didn't move. So it'll be interesting using it. And then the next thing in here I actually didn't buy for me. My friend bought for me. It's the CoverGirl and Olay, the CC Tone Rehab in 105 Ivory. So the reason, it's actually really funny, so the reason I have this is because she bought it for herself and then she tried it on and it was way too light for her. Like it worked for like an under eye brightening, but other than that, she was like, yeah, no, it was way too pale. I put it on because I tried it. And yeah, like when I first put it on, it was a little light, but once it settled in, then it darkened up a little and became my perfect tone. What are you doing over there? I don't know what he's doing over there. It's exciting. So anyway, the next thing in here is my, the, I already tried this out, and I don't know what I did with the packaging. I think I just threw it out. Like some of the things I put back in the package, some of them I did not. Like this! Is the Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara Volume. And it's the one with the giant wand. Like, do you see this? Do you see this? This right here. That is a Christmas tree that you're supposed to put your eye makeup on with. I like the bristles are really soft, but it's interesting because as I'm doing like the corner, like in here, I actually hit my lower lashes too, so it's like, even though I'm like, no, I'm getting, okay, 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 then my lower lashes get colored too, so it's, I like the formula, I really want to try the, ooh, made in Italy, I did not know that, um, I really want to try the best lash, the one with the purple, not with the green, because I've heard magical things about it, but this was 35% off, so I figured, why not give it a try, so then, the next thing in here are two, not one, but two Milani eyeshadows. So this is what they look like. This one is Bella Purple and this one's Bella Navy. And the funny thing is I bought this one for me and my friend bought this one for me because she knows purple is my favorite color. Friends! So yeah, I really, I like them. I have used the purple one, not that you can really tell, because it has sort of like a fabric looking, like a woven fabric looking texture to it. I don't know if you can see that, but I've used it a few times and that texture is still there. Like it's a little flatter near the parts where I swirled my brush in, but for the most part, it still looks quite new and I love the gold packaging. I love love gold packaging. I mentioned that in an older video about one of the lipsticks I've had for forever that has a little gold tube and I'm like it's so classy and fancy looking and pretty and I love it. Oh, love it. So speaking of lip stuff, there are quite a few of those in here. I have two of the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. I have one in matte pretty and one in matte adorable and as you can tell I haven't used this one yet I should probably just take that off I I'm not afraid of anyone oh that was really difficult to get off stealing this from my house I do have a trash can right there so it's not quite as weird and it's I really like these so I have not tried the pink one the adorable but I have used the pretty one a few times. The lid, you have to really want to get in there. And then it's an interesting thing with these because they sort of click the first two twists here. I hope you can hear this. And then it's just smooth, but then when you go down, it clicks again. So then I feel like it's not going to somehow although this is the part and the lid doesn't touch like this part doesn't turn so I feel like it's very very safe and that lid that lid and as you can see it twists all the way down even on the one I haven't used you can tell it's 
like there might be a few particles above the the top but it's the first time you use it it's pretty much flat so then I also have two of and I haven't tried these yet I bought this one of the Bonita Cosmetics the velvet lip creams I bought hot damn exclamation mark as the first one and because look at this color how could you not buy this color and then I went and saw a review online that said how to use these because they come with a doe foot applicator but if you use that and just smear the stuff on your lips it never really dries down like it never becomes matte it always is kind of sticky and can move but if you use a very little amount, like she used a lip brush and she like lifted the applicator out a little and used what was on the like the shaft part and kind of used her lip brush and put it on. She said it dries really fast, it doesn't move, it stains your lips really good. So then I had to go get the other color I saw that was not opened and that's Barbie's Muse. I can see that. And I'm sure they have lots of other great colors that aren't pink related. But, I mean, most of the other colors were gone. And there was one other color. I forget what it is now. I think it was a light red, which you're thinking, oh, that's pink. No, it was like a kind of orangey red, but it was open, and I don't, I don't trust those. I know that seems kind of paranoid, but I don't, I don't trust those. So then the last thing in here, which I actually took out and threw to the side to get to the lip products, is another eye product. Why I didn't pull this out before? Who knows? Probably. Oh, it still has all the packaging. So it's the ELF Studio, and it's in Soleil, the long-lasting, luscious, l lustrous eyeshadow. I'm good at talking. And it's. Here's what it looks like in the box. I actually took, I saw online someone suggested this, so this is not my idea, but feel free to do it. That they put the color sticker on the back, as you can see the remnants of it. And if I pull this puppy out, why is it a puppy? I never understood that, why is it a puppy? I actually put the sticker on the back because ELF doesn't actually list the name anywhere on here. Like if I hadn't done that, I'd be like, it's kind of pink color. And it's interesting with the one I got, it's like, I don't know, while they're waiting for it to dry, it got jostled or something because it kind of mushed. Like this is what, this is what I got. It kind of mushed. <laughs> and I mean, it's a very pretty color. Like when I was looking for how to apply it, like if people used a base or anything like that, that they did swatches because everyone loves swatches everyone. oh although speaking of swatches I can do some but anyway so and I was like ooh that pink is a really pretty color and it's really it's the only way I can think to describe it is it's smushy it's very soft it's very velvety here is Thore and then like I could definitely like once that like I could put it really sheer and just get a whole bunch of glitter I could probably like once that sets build that up so what else should I do let's do some Milani because this is a really pretty color like I used it for my um, crease color when I had a fun bronze And it doesn't look like much in the swatch, but you can build it up some, and it's just a really deep, nice color. I love it. And then here, oh, there's a fuzz attached to it. That's, that's nice. Why am I, why am I doing it on this hand anyway? Oop, doop, 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 doop. This is super awkward because I'm not left-handed. I don't know why I did that. Normally I know how to swatch. I go like that and then I can draw and stuff. But anyway, 
Here's the Jordana lipstick. It's so pretty, like it looks so nice and it stains your lips. So even after it's gone, it's, did I mention it's pretty? And it's not even, it is, it's matte pretty, pretty. So anyway, I do believe that I now have an empty basket. And although it doesn't seem like a lot, that's a lot more than I usually get. And like I said, this wasn't one trip. This is like five trips to Kmart, maybe six. I've lost track. I then tried the new coffee shop that's near there in the shopping center and they have such good chai lattes. Like it's so, like the perfect amount of spice versus the right amount of like creaminess from the milk. And it's just so good. Now I want to go there. I might have to go there. But while I'm waiting to do anything, I'm actually having to wait by the phone for a boy to call. And not in the, oh, I can't wait for him to call and then we can make smoochy face kind of way. It's my car's check engine light came on and I took it in and they're like, oh, that was just the oxygen sensor. It's dying. And I was like, awesome. That doesn't sound good. So they're going to replace that and they did one of those, well while we were in there, we found that you need a new left front boot thing, axis, axle boot. And I was like, oh, well I've had that replaced before so I guess that's not too surprising. Kind of lame, but okay. And then they're like, oh, it's not fitting. Oh, that's because the part that it connects to that you have on there is an aftermarket. So we're going to have to order that part if we're going to fix it. And I was like, okay, might as well because the original Volkswagen one lasted me about five years. The one I had put on at NTB lasted about three years. So I figured might as well go back to Volkswagen parts and stuff. And so I was sitting there and they're like, yeah, we don't know why your check engine light came on. Like this was back when I first brought it in. And they're like, and I was like, but I have to go to work. So they gave me a loaner car and that was Friday. And then on Saturday was when they tried, was when he emailed me going, here's all the stuff we're gonna do. And I'm gonna email you our action plan and it'll give you the cost. And I was like, okay. So then like later, is when he called to be like, yeah, about the boot thing. And then I, tr I called him back and he's like, oh, I won't be able to get you a quote. Like this is Saturday that he, that we're calling back and forth. Cause I actually didn't have to work on Saturday. Um, he's like, okay, I'll have to call you back on Monday to give you a quote because parts is closed for the day. Like by the time I got a hold of him again and I was like, oh, okay. So then I missed his call yesterday. So I left him a message going, go ahead. Cause he gave me the quote, I was like, do it. And he said it should have arrived Tuesday morning. So I was like, okay, so at some point Tuesday, I should get my car back. Cool. Well, Tuesday came and I had to go to work and I was like, okay, maybe it'll take a little bit longer. I'll get a call from him while I'm at work. It'll be okay. So I still, I haven't heard from them, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Forever waiting. Waiting by my phone for a boy to call. But anyway, my dad was really imp impressed with the loaner car. I have the TDI Golf Clean Diesel thing, and it has a sunroof, and it's got all kinds of get up and get out of here. A little too much. I found myself doing 80 down a road that's 55. Maybe I should go a little less. But anyway, so a little bonus for you at the end of this is I'm going to show a clip of me like just kind of like circling around the car and showing some of the details. Um, and you know, just cool stuff like that. I don't have any footage of when it's dark because I didn't know how cool the inside would be. Like on the doors, there are like little light up strips. They're very faint, but they're kind of cool. And underneath, like where your feet are, there are little lights. So you can see, you're not like rummaging through, like where's my bag? Where's this? Where's that? And it's all just dark and awkward. There are little lights, but they're not bright enough to like interfere with driving. 
So that's awesome. I also got yelled at by the car because I see the appeal of a sunroof now. So I have that thing open as much as I can until I have to give this car back. And I was driving, and because if you just have the sunroof open, it creates kind of weird... Yeah, it does. <laughs> you scared me. Um, kind of weird air pressure within the car. And so I had the windows cracked. Because I know with my car, if you just put down like one rear window, you can get this thum, 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 thum going on, and it's not fun. It's not fun. You want to come say hi? I... No? Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Be that one. He don't want to come say hi to you. But it was like, eco tool, eco, like on the dash, it was like, eco tip, air resistance. Please close the sunroof and windows. And I was like, no car. You don't tell me what to do. I do what I want. Because, you know, the car cared about my opinion. So I'm going to go, I think, because it's almost 12.30 and I still haven't heard from him. I should give him another call back. Even though I hate calling people, I still, I miss my car. I do. I miss it. So I'll talk to everyone later, hopefully with awesome news that I have my car returned. Oh, although I did make a joke that with all the fixing and all that, that's like, oh, well, you can just keep my car and I'll keep this one. And there's enough yarn in my car to make up the difference, I'm sure. There's a lot of yarn in my car. Like, I should take a car tour and everyone can be like, why are you such a hoarder? And I'll be like, I don't know. I like yarn. But anyway, on that note, oh. So, I forgot to mention, these smell like vanilla. I keep getting whiffs of it as I'm talking because I talk like this. But anyway, I'll see everyone later. Bye!